You know what 50 gonna say to you when he see you. What? I heard Diddy touched your butt. Oh, man, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, no, I don't know that that was going on. You know, I can't wait to run into him again. See, what you gonna say to him? Puffy was playing with your booty in my hand. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Yeah. Stop. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we can just hang out. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is this. Oh, okay. You're telling me we gotta kick it. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, what the this nigga just said? <laughs> <laughs> I got the <laughs> away from him because I was like, this, this nigga. <laughs> Wait, this nigga <laughs> just tell me he'd take me shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, this goes off. But this is a little fruit. My puppy's a fruit pop. So you and, you and Diddy, you and Puff cool? No, I don't. Okay, damn, all right. Let me read okay, it, read Fifth. It. Oh, my God. Sorry I can no longer Shane's help confused. you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. Dinner Thieves. It's craziness, man. I, I, and you know, what's, you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. And yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got and everything on him. But he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN. It's keeping it off the major news. Uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man, that they're gonna push up under the rug and a few le a few years later, bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. Man. I, I, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. Diddy party stories, they're our favorite genre of anecdote. If oh, you really? have one, yeah. Wow, okay, I've got a lot I can't tell. <laughs> so, um... <sighs> Can't tell that one either. I mean, I'm like actually cycling through them. Feel like well, I'm... we still have some time to go. You know, I can blow it here. Okay. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> Diddy party stories, man. That was like some weird memory lane. So... He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the? F what the? What'd you just say? <laughs> Let yeah. me move, man, before I do something. You're gonna make me mess up the wet. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puppy camp? Hell no. <laughs> See? <laughs> Ain't nobody love me like this. Ain't nobody loving me like this. Fuck her. She loving me like this. That's what's up. That's what the fuck is up. That's what I fuck with. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
sex scene. I'm trying to see some big booty butt shakes tonight. You shitting me? Diddy Lips Read Diddy Lips Obviously Diddy ain't talking about no damn party cause they at a party That shit is cold word for something far more sinister Like for an example when we used to hustle back in the day We would ask the fiends do they party Knowing damn well we ain't talking about no party And when Diddy said he ain't talking about no party either He talking about some old other shit Now let's proceed Papa don't hit me no more. Kick in the door, wave in the 4 4. All you heard was Papa don't hit me no more. Let's go. Kick in the door, wave in the 4 4. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. He didn't be wanting the body. And you gotta. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, for all those in London that don't know what happens to the white man when he comes to a P. Diddy party, this is what happens to the white man. Uh, it's so unfortunate. You gotta pull back though, so they can see. That's crazy. Come on, move. Matt, move out the way. You're still alive. Look at that. Look at, look. Who'd you get a drink on his head? And that's, and that's James from Simeon Mobile Disco. He is a actual D DJ that I'm supposed to pass out. But when they come to one of my parties, this is what happens to him. I put him to sleep. Next day, right? Yeah, put the drink on his head. There, you go. <laughs> there it is. Damn. You have the experience with major corporations. Like, me, my particular experience with Beam Centauri, it was great in the beginning. It's great for us to work for them. It is not so cool when you start to own things. You see what I'm saying? So I made a lot of money with them too. Like there's a point, they, they did a deal that mirrored what Puffy's deal with Diageo was for Syrah. So he didn't have ownership of that at any point, but he was getting a lot of money, like almost like $60 million a year at one point. So you see him go to daily on is when you see him have some issues. And these people have really strong relationships. Don't think that the civil case doesn't turn into a criminal case faster because 
he's making that them uncomfortable. That's a big part of it. The spirits business is it's not governed. They got a discus board that they created, right? If you got two companies that are three billion dollars a year and Beam Centauria and Diageo, the, the distribution level is very hard for you to get things to a point where you can do the numbers, the right numbers. They incentivize the sales force by giving them box bonuses. And then when you sell the product, you get the bonuses off the boxes that's there. But you make that no matter what product you're selling. So if, if you sell Hennessy or Remy out the gate, they start to put downward pressure on the new companies. What did Puff just say? Nobody's going to acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was stupid. Hey kiddo, what are you doing? Just having a little drink before my car picks me up. Where are you going? I'm going to go to join um, Diddy. He's doing that. Rick Ross is doing a little concert this afternoon. Really? Your boobs, honestly, they get bigger. No, I just lifted this bra up. It's like night and day. I need to have my bras, my boobs sitting up at this yeah, you do. level at all times. They were like down to here. That's life changing. Life changing, but it gives me back fat. Gotta pick or choose your battles. That's what I learned in my life. Yeah. So why do you care to go to this? Because I was invited and I think it would be fun. When are you going to act your own age? It's like rap crew, like Rick Ross and Diddy. Do you think this is like your crowd? I know a thing or two about rap music. Who is the boss? Me. No. Ron James comments on P. Diddy getting arrested and basically saying that he had a weird feeling today was the day the feds will actually catch up to Diddy. I guess we can all confirm that LeBron James was the anonymous tipster that gave up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna keep it a glass of water, y'all. This is nasty, bro. Y'all remember before a couple months ago that we saw that LeBron James was saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. <laughs> Some people will say that LeBron James should go to jail. Chill out, y'all. Hey, we all know that this is a troll post. Well, it is actually true that PJ did go to jail, though. But I mean, about LeBron James' whole situation is crazy, and that's that's lies. But it's still funny just to see that. <laughs> Feel me? Um, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about the whole P. Diddy situation and LeBron James. But you may snow what's up. I'm not. He defended Diddy, stating that what he is accused of doing is nothing new in the world of famous entertainers. He argued that flying women out for parties or intimate gatherings is a common practice among celebrities and should not be considered illegal. Boozy questioned whether it is fair to label women who willingly participate in these experiences as prostitutes, suggesting that if that were the case, then many women would fall under that category. He expressed concerns about the charge and warned that it could be used as a tool to target high-profile figures in the hip-hop community. This is incredibly disturbing footage, so I do want to warn our viewers as you did. But as you said, Cassie's lawsuit, which was filed in November of 2023 and then was quickly settled overnight, it did open the floodgates. But in that complaint, Jake, she details an incident that she alleged happened in March of 2016 at a hotel in Los Angeles by Diddy. Now our team in the LA Bureau, we have got our hands on that surveillance footage and it appears to corroborate Cassie's claims identically. Conspiracy. Interstate transportation for The indictment alleges that between at least 2008 and the present, Combs have threatened and coerced victims to fulfill his self protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. Gabriel Gay about him is holding back her thoughts on Sean Diddy Combs' bombshell yep. legal right. troubles.
Aubrey noted in a social media post that she feels hope that Diddy's case marks a long-awaited turning point, writing, The purpose of justice is to provide an ending and allow us the space to create a new chapter. Women never get this. I feel validated. Today is a win for women all over the world, not just me. Things are finally changing. Man. And, and, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. And, and, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that. All these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this. And yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got and everything on him, but he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN, is keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Nobody's talking about that. This is something that goes on, man, that they're gonna push up under the rug and a few, a few years later, bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. Cassie, I will advocate for you. Because see, I know something that a lot of people don't know. I know that you and Kim Porter had a sit down right before she left us. We made a bail appeal uh, to Judge Carter. Uh, it did not go our way. Um, the fight continues. Uh, we're, not, we're, 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 not, we're not giving up by a long shot. I told Mr. Combs, um, I'm gonna try and get his case to trial as quickly as possible. I'm going to try and minimize the amount of time he spends in very, very difficult and I believe inhumane uh, housing conditions in the, in the special housing unit of the Metropolitan Detention Facility. What they're looking for, because it was gone on the premises of sex, they're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be under aid that they took out of there and yet nobody said <gasps> but did he get arrested finally and, and and get the book ready to be thrown at his very 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 dancing feet they're gonna be his feet with that law book yo man i should have sought he told me he should have saw this coming with cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother and I was like, he did what? Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. Combs had been living there for several weeks. A person with knowledge of the investigation told NBC News the arrest was based on a sealed indictment brought by the Southern District of New York. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear as of this moment. Okay, tell us why, tell us why because he's a sex trafficker. Okay. And he's using music and entertainment to sex traffic. That, that Nikki recorded that at the freak off in the Calabasas. She has been waiting to drop that shit with me. I have a lot of fun. Here I am keeping good company with the Drew Barrymore show and I don't have 1,000 bottles of lube at the house. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. I mean, in the beginning, like the first three and a half years, he was, I mean, like the first three months, three, four months, he was really nice. But then after that, he was, he started being a In the studio, he said, yo, I'm a drug dick south and picked him out and, and, and picked him out to my, <laughs> picked him out to my neck. Some videos that are surfacing of Justin Bieber at a Diddy party, and they are horrific. I'm talking truly and utterly horrific. Justin is at Diddy's parties, 
And in this one video, it looks like whatever Justin is doing, I'm not going to show it out of just respect for the fact that I truly believe that Justin Bieber is a victim. But whatever he is doing in this video with Trey Songs and Odell Beckham Jr. looks highly suspicious. I can show you a still from that video uh, because I think the relevant part is uh, Justin Bieber is not sober. He is, is clearly very heavily under the influence at this party. And, if, and so what I want to say to Justin Bieber and to everybody that's following the situation uh, is that Justin Bieber is a victim. I was horrified when I saw this, not because of the idea that Justin Bieber would be engaged in these sorts of things at these parties, but because I understood that this was a kid who was intentionally targeted by Diddy, as the videos show, told that he wants to party with him. He, and Justin Bieber didn't do that to himself. Like I said, Justin Bieber was, in my view, a child victim. And as these videos are circling on the internet, I want to make sure people remember that and give him the grace as someone who has somehow survived this, turned to family, turned to faith, and is still very much struggling with all of this. For people to give him the grace and the courage and the prayers to hopefully one day find within him, himself the strength to speak out about what happened. Anyways, it seems to be that it is all falling down in Hollywood. We will uh, continue to monitor that story, but I do encourage everybody to pray for Justin Bieber. You people love have a gay rapper. I believe there are some gay rappers. Oh, they just ain't came out the closet. You put my yeah, I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. You put my back. Daddy, I like when you you're scrambling and scraping. I like that. You know why Puff's party are so cool, man? Because you can't get into the party. It doesn't matter what the fuck's going on in the party. Nothing cool is going on in the party. It's a party. But you can't, for some fucking reason, at his party, you can't get into his party. So now what do you want to do? Get into that man's party and see what the fuck all the hubbub's about. So right now I have a do not fucking enter sign on Machine Gun Kelly. I love y'all. Star Island, happy fucking new year. It's over for 2020. I got bring it in with my It's only right that I bring it in with my brother 2021. We on here. Yes. Happy holidays, everyone. Set it up, but love your way. Toast up with me. Uh -huh. Happy New Year. Love, love, love. Yeah. Hold on. I need to drip. Wait, Hold on, man. Parties. Yeah. No kissing. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Wave check. Yeah. God, God, uh, I got no time to be shy going in the 2021. You want to scream and yell for him, but you want me, you want to say thank you? Nah, thank you. Happy New
Hello, what's up, love? We what's stepping up, into the 2021. Hey, Talk man. to me. Hey, yo, tell us how we've been in 2020. Uh huh. You know, oh. Love, peace, prosperity. Uh huh. I need you to thrive. I need you to flow. I need you to grow. Hey, yo, I see you. Talk about how I got the most beautiful sisters in the world. Oh, D. Y'all yeah. don't be growing up. Y'all better not talk to no boys. 2021 ain't nothing changed. You right? No boys. the studio started going upstairs and on my way upstairs there's like this couch and on the couch i saw a couple of guys really going at it hard and heavy and um man and i was like oh you know I, I, you know my brain i'm thinking well you know the celebrity party people do what they do as i started moving up stairs i passed them up and i noticed that it wasn't just those two guys it was more and more people just going at it I was like, okay, it's time for me to roll. I'm going to grab my stuff and I'm going to get up out of here. I did not know that's how this went down. So was that shocking? Absolutely. Was I forced or coerced into anything? I was not. Um, but I, why they felt that comfortable? I don't know. Maybe the invite list, they was like, yeah, all these people. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm shocked that it went down. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I, I, yeah, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, you know. No, but me and you ain't never really party. You know what I'm saying? He says things. He doesn't even know what he's saying. It's like fruity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, we, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what is he talking about? Yo, yo. What is he talking about? Uh, no, and going going off. Yeah, when and people going. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> we here to like try to raise money for these um you know mosquito pay things. So if you don't understand, like just imagine living in Africa. But I wouldn't slander their name like they did mine. I wouldn't say things that I knew. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I believe so. I do believe so. I have proof things that I can say that will back up my claim. But this is not for the world to know about. You know what I mean? It's between me and him, and only he knows. So every time he say it didn't happen, or do 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 do, that's the only thing that makes this become an issue to everybody. Cause I read, I, I, you seen what I said in the vibe article? I basically bowed out and was gonna go ahead about my life. The next issue. That, no, that wasn't even the next issue because them cowards waited about four issues before they got their story together. Four issues later, half of New York is commenting on me getting shot. And before, they was all like, we didn't see nothing. In the first issue, we did, vibe viewers. Nobody seen shit. The fourth issue, when they came back with a reply, everybody knew what I did. They knew what I said. I was acting. Who gets shot five times in acts? Oh, I didn't get shot five times in their vision. I only got shot once because they found the bullet. The police found it, but now they the cops. Now they doing detective work. They found a bullet. Oh, you found a bullet, huh? So what is this other shit in me then? What was the doctors talking about? What, can you explain these other holes in me? How do I get gunpowder all over me? That's what, if that insulted my intelligence. So yes, I did say Thug Life was there. Yes, I bowed out, all of that. But when they said that, they breathed new life in me. Yeah. And Thug Life not only became a rap group, 
but it became a way of life for life for me. Because they, they disrespected me, my name, my family, what I had been through. They said that I couldn't be in pain. I could not feel, I could not be hurt. Is there still a beef going on with you and Biggie? It was never a beef. It's only a difference in opinion. Right. To me, if I like my, my homeboy should gave me the best advice I could ever give from anybody. He said, he's when people ask him if he's beefing with um bad boy with Puffy, he says like me going to a playground and picking on a little kid. Right. That's like me being mad at my little brother because he getting cash now. I'm not mad at that. I'm just mad at my little brother when he don't respect me. Yeah. Now, when you don't respect me, I'm going to spank your ass. I don't give a fuck how rich you got. On the block, I'm your big brother. Shocking new accusations. His alleged victim humiliated and traumatized. Diddy's legal troubles just got bigger. Less than 48 hours after his somber mea culpa. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Extra has obtained this explosive new 15-page lawsuit filed by model Crystal McKinney. She claims he got her drunk and high with a joint that was laced with what she says was a narcotic or other intoxicating substance. Some dudes belong in jail based on what they do and how they do it. We know that to be true. And it's just this situation, man, um, when they get down to all the facts and all what happened, he may belong in jail, bro. And that's not my doing, that's not Cassie doing, that's his doing and his learned behavior from the people that mentored him. You gotta realize, man, you gotta, you, you, he learned from Andre Harrell, he learned from Russell Simmons, he learned from Clyde Davis. You understand? When those people are, 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 are telling you that they were in heavy into the drugs, they was heavy into beating women and doing things at that age, at, at that crazy stage, that's gonna make him think that he can get away with the same thing that they was getting away with back then. You understand? The things that he was saying, you know, the touchy-feely between two men. I should have saw, he told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie. He was looking around like, damn, like, a lot of guys kissing each other in here, man. You feel me? What y'all do is y'all business. So you, you been to a party and seen this? Oh, I've seen it firsthand, multiple times. Man. I've seen the White Howard in a pink dress, bro. What? I've seen the White Howard in a pink dress with two other Trump ladies in dresses. They all the same height. At a Diddy party. Oh. Ask about the White Howard in Mexico. What's up with the White Howard in Mexico? You know, they don't got paparazzi out there like that. You feel me? They was down there hooping. He going to the club with these same truck ladies. Joining me very quickly, I want to circle back to you, Kiela, about uh, Sean Puffy Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, spinning, spinning, spinning. I mean, this guy is a master promoter okay and the allegation is that combs aided and abetted his son in this attack my brother right here from day one we used to wake up and i mean damn pause but like this out i mean i mean back in the days when he was like 10 and i was a little bit older his older brother we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes you know what i'm saying before pause was invented <laughs> but it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the off of the frosted place because he used to always get up early. <laughs> now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the? What they're looking for, because it was going on the premises of sex. They're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be under a context. Like they in this act. That's what they're looking for. So now they're gonna go through all those devices. If somebody got any kind of weird fetishes that they got little kids or little girls or something like that in any kind of pictures or any kind of photos that they took out of that. 
Who killed two cops in a week? And I think both of these dudes were assassinated in some kind of way. More bigger than Tupac. I think Tupac might have uh, got killed by a dude that they had an incident with earlier that day. <laughs> we decided to do the book because um, I'm not a rapper, obviously, or anything like that. But I've been in the business and been around the business. He's like a <laughs> <laughs> oh, What'd he say? <laughs> to describe Puffy in one word is a Not the shit that y'all saw. Worse. Way worse. <laughs> wow. Are oh, you kidding me? Yeah? Like penetration punches and, and Nah. So it truly is about the Benjamin, man. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. He's, he's glittering. He's glittering. He's glittering. He's glittering. Yeah. Well, now, when we come back, we're going to talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome to stick around my brother. Oh, Thank All you. right, we'll be right back with more right after this. Yo, I did it. Told my he wanted receipts. Let's start with your mother. Man. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. The rest of a former SU basketball walk-on player, Brendan Paul, who's part, police say, of a investigation of rap mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. Paul is accused in court documents of being Combs' drug mule. That's how he operates. He has people followed. He has people watched. He does all kinds of f He's a f piece of shit. Too much money. I feel, I feel bad for the kids. 50 posting a sweet picture of him and Drew on Instagram, but the caption tells a different story. Okay, so. But that's not a diss. Meek likes being being brought up in that song. I don't know why you lower his thing. You think you're doing yeah. him a favor. He's very, very happy being mentioned, I'm pretty sure. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement polls at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra. I was actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement polls at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say. A new civil lawsuit claims Sean Diddy Combs repeatedly passed off dancer and adult film actress Adria English to be by partygoers during events at his New York and Miami houses between 2006 and 2009. Ooh, do I have some tea for you today? We're talking about none other than the one and only Sean Diddy Combs. Yes, the iconic music mogul is caught up in some serious legal drama, and baby, the streets are saying he's shook, worried sick about his kids while possibly facing time behind bars. Word is, Diddy's sitting tight in a special housing unit at one of the toughest jails in the country. But even with all that heat around him, his mind is stuck on one thing, family. Sources close to him say that from his 10 by 8 foot cell, all he can think about is his seven babies, wishing he could talk to them in this tough time. For those who need a reminder, Diddy's got a whole squad, including Quincy, who he adopted while with the late Kim Porter, Justin, Christian, Chance, the twins Delilah and Jesse, and don't forget about his little princess two-year-old love. Now, while some of Diddy's kids are grown and doing their thing, he's losing sleep over his younger babies, especially Delilah, Jesse, and little love, who are still just kids. The whole fam is feeling this heavy situation, y'all. It's tough, but they're holding it down for each other, staying strong for the kids, and turning to their faith to get them through. Word on the street is, the twins Delilah and Jesse are staying with a close family friend of their late mama out in LA, while their daddy sits in jail without a chance for bail. And speaking of Diddy's current setup, baby, it's rough. He's under suicide watch in a federal lockup over in Brooklyn. And let me tell you, it's no picnic. He's barely got any contact with the outside world. Only one hour of rec time and three showers a week. Family and friends can come visit, but how often and if he even gets to talk to his kids? That's still up in the air. Now, when it came time for Diddy's bail hearing, his sons Justin and Christian showed up and showed out, standing right by their father's side in the courtroom. But even with them there, the judge wasn't budging. Diddy's still locked up. As of now, the future is looking murky, but the family is laser focused on staying strong through these rough times. You know we're going to keep y'all posted as more details drop, but one thing's crystal clear. Diddy's number one concern is still his kids. Now let's rewind a bit. 
Cause earlier this year, who chill? The police raided Diddy's Miami mansion and what they found was straight up jaw dropping. Allegedly, the place was decked out with all kinds of S toys, equipment, lingerie, and get this, hidden cameras. And don't think it stopped there. His LA crib got raided too back in March. And word on the street is, Diddy wasn't just into some regular freaky stuff, oh no. Y'all, it gets crazier. Word is, Diddy had entire rooms set up with cameras, filming these wild drug-fueled S-parties he liked to call freak-offs. One agent, who was part of the raid, spilled the tea to the New York Post, saying if you were at those parties, baby, you were getting filmed from angles you didn't even know existed. And the wildest part? Diddy could stream the footage straight to his phone or broadcast it on TVs throughout his mansion. He didn't even have to be there to watch, but trust, it sounds like he usually was. But hold on, cause this is where things take a dark, dark turn. The US Attorney's Office in New York unsealed an indictment, and it's bad, y'all. They're accusing Diddy of some real serious crimes, S trafficking, and even transporting folks for prostitution. This ain't no small mess. And here's where it gets even messier, y'all. At those infamous freak-offs, some folks were allegedly forced or coerced into doing things they never signed up for. When the cops raided Diddy's spot back in March, they scooped up a whole bunch of stuff he was using for these wild parties. We're talking narcotics, over a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricants, anything you could imagine. Oh, and they found videos too, which are only stacking up the evidence against him. Then on Monday, boom, Diddy got arrested. Now, even though he's pleaded not guilty, he's staying locked up till the trial. And if he's convicted, who, baby, he could be looking at life behind bars. So yeah, it's not looking too good for the former music mogul right now. Sure, we've seen other rappers face long prison sentences, but this Diddy situation? Honey, it's on a whole different level. According to insiders, this paints a real ugly picture of a world where excess is the name of the game and morality. Well, it got kicked to the curb a long time ago. Now, let me tell you, this scandal doesn't stop with the music industry. Oh no, honey, the rumors are spreading like wildfire, reaching all the way into Hollywood and politics. Folks are whispering names like Ashton Kutcher, Leonardo DiCaprio, and even families like the Clintons and Bushes are getting pulled into the mess. So the big question now is, just how deep does this rabbit hole go? And what about the blackmail rumors swirling around Diddy? With these freak-offs and their guest lists now under a heavy cloud of suspicion, the intrigue is only growing. People want to know, how many of these high-profile players have gotten tangled up in this wild web of scandal? The tea just keeps getting hotter, and the streets are buzzing with speculation. As for Diddy, he's denying every last accusation, including the serious S-trafficking charges now hanging over his head. But with more and more disturbing claims coming to light, it's hard to say if the full truth will ever come out.